I have my skin done. And now I'm just gonna prime my eyes with some Victorious. Um, Cause I feel like this is a really good way to even out my eyelid. Um, but anyways, I am excited to go out. All right, so I think I'm going to use mostly palette two, going back to my favorite. Um, so I'm gonna go in with Honorable in the uh, with the crease brush and I saw some makeup artists do this and um, he just kind of like I don't know created this I don't know if it's gonna work for me we're gonna see just sort of like created this outer corner crease I think he did it a little more subtly than I'm doing it but we'll see Sometimes things turn out, start out a little wild and they end up working. So you just, you just don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna just add a little bit more and just keep blending it inwards. So I'm putting the bulk of the product on the outer edge, but blending it in. And again, this is just honorable, which is a nice matte, like taupey color. So just trying to get like bit of a shadowed look so this one has none and this one has it so it's not like very drastic but it is a little something Give a little bit of depth again if you have um, regular shaped eyes you can do this in your actual crease but for me we got to do this above the crease if we want to see it if you're in doubt blend it some more Um, and also, if this doesn't seem to be working, we can take an empty brush um, that is a bit fluffier, so I have the deluxe brush to just sort of help out and blend this in. It's just to sort of give me a bit more of a defined crease. Again, just trying to do even amount on each of them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in again and I'm going to go into Cocky, which is the dark matte brown. So I'm just gonna try to deepen that up a little bit. So I'm gonna, of course, start out very sparingly because it's easy to add more. It's much harder to take it off if I change my mind. So I'm also just sort of bringing it down along that outer edge. time with cocky just deepen it up whoa time to blend Now I'm gonna take this crease brush and I'm gonna go back into Honorable and go on my lower lash line. Okay, and I'm gonna go into Cocky and just dab it on and do that on the outer edge. Okay, and now I think I'm gonna go into palette five and I'm gonna use Brilliant, which is a super bright silver. So I'm gonna use, um, I don't think I'm gonna have much fallout, but just in case I'm gonna use a cream shadow brush. So it's kind of like a concealer brush. So it's more of like, yeah, to like sort of pat it on. And I'm just gonna put this, oh wow, that is no joke. I'm just gonna put this on the moving part of my lid. And as you can see, I am just dabbing it on. Ha oh, ha that is bright. I'm 
know if you can tell how bright it is on camera. I'll show you guys a picture um, when I take a picture of this, but wow. Bring it up just a little bit higher in that inner corner. Might as well brighten that up while we're there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do just to kind of, I think, match a little bit of the um, shimmer, I'm gonna put some of Perplexed, which is like a shimmery, um, almost like a gunmetal gray. Um, so I'm gonna take that on the crease brush. And I'm gonna put that um, on the outer portion of the moving lid and I'm gonna bring it up into the crease. Just to darken up this outer edge. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna go back in that into that deluxe, uh, deluxe brush that doesn't have any pigment on it. And I'm just gonna sort of try to blend that out. So this is just all in the crease and above, and just blending it to just make it a little bit smoother, a little more diffused. Um, and I'll go like on the borderline of the matte and shimmer colors, but I don't really want to move that shimmer much. I just want to blend it in. So as you can see, this side is much more blended and this one is not. So we'll blend this, the other side to match. And again, not adding anything to this brush, just bringing it down to that, to the end of the lower lash line. I think I also brushed my eyeball a little bit there, but hey, all in the day's work. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good with eyeshadow now. Okay, so now I'm going to go into liquid eyeliner. So brace yourselves, because this could go beautifully or horribly wrong. Just toss a coin, either way. Okay, so I'm going in, uh, so we have all different colors of this, by the way, but I'm gonna go into Perfect, which is black. Um, and I think, I don't know, we're gonna see, let's see. Let's go with the flow here. Okay, so let's start off. Nice thin line on that inner corner. edge we can but I actually kind of like that so it's not like very drastic so here I have all right and then I think I'm going to use the liner brush and I'm gonna dip into Peppy, which is just a dark matte black. Sorry, I didn't even point to it. I just like flashed the palette at you. Uh, so just a dark matte black, and I'm gonna just go over it uh, with this. Just kind of help set it and make it a little bit sort of sharper. A little bit of perplexed on the edge of my finger, just like this, and I'm gonna put that on the outer edge, just a little bit more concentrated. So I guess that's not the outer edge, that's like the outer half. <laughs> I get a little brave. Yeah, because I don't wanna do eyeliner on the lower lash line, but I wanna have like some sort of definition. Um, okay, so before I do mascara and lips, I'm gonna do brows. So you probably noticed that I didn't really do them yet. <laughs> they need to be done. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with dark. Um, I've been kind of switching this up. Sometimes I go in with medium for the front of the brow, but I feel like this is a very dramatic look. So I'm just gonna stay consistent to that and go in with a nice dark brow. Okay, and then brush through 
through and sort of spread out the product a little bit with the spoolie. And if you feel like you have some, some stray hairs that don't really do what you want them to do, um, we do a brow gel, so that would be good. But that definitely helps the situation, I think. Look at that. Yay. That's as good as we're going to get. All right, so now to curl. So now for lips, I'm going to do my favorite go-to as of recently, and that would be plush lip liner, which I outline and color in. And then I use Lucid, which came in the December Kudos. And this is, I know my hair's not super cool. And this is the finished look. So thank you guys so much for watching.